Hello everyone, welcome back to Spelltons. I'm Zinker, he's Derek. Um, so we've been talking about immortality buddies, which is uh you both you and a buddy both mm -hmm. gain the ability to be immortal forever. Um but now Derek, I strike mm -hmm. you with a question, right? So you have to become immortal, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can choose to have an immortal buddy. And you can choose anyone. You get to choose it. That person becomes immortal against their own will. Uh, no matter who you choose, they absolutely despise that you gave them the mortality. And they will immediately be really pissed at you. Because they'll figure it out real quick. Well, you know, real quick in relative time. Like, it could take them like 100 years to die. But then they're like, why the fuck am I alive again? Yeah. Um, or whatever. Or why am I not dying? And they'll fight. And... I, eventually, the line of the curse and that it came from you. And then they'll get real... Uh, no! Actually, you know what? No. Mm -hmm. They don't know at first, but there's always... Th there's an eventual chance that they find out. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's carved in the stone somewhere. And they, they, they can figure it out eventually. Or they'll, fi they'll figure out yeah. that you're the only person like that. Yeah. I assume they would after like two or three centuries of it continue like seeing me again. Yep. Because you'd be the only ones alive. You'd be the only ones still left alive. So what's, well, the, what's the question? Uh Oh, uh, do you choose to have an immor immortality, buddy? Do you doom someone to their fate? Well, yeah, they get to be with me forever. Yeah. Okay. And that's a blessing. <laughs> well, yeah, but they didn't want a mortality, so it will always be a curse to them. What are they gonna do? Kill me? <laughs> that's the spirit, Derek. <laughs> Fuck them over. <laughs> I feel like in the case of you and me, it's just we're gonna just choose each other. But like, ha! Huh? Look, I'm, <laughs> look, Zinker, look, I, I'm being cursed with immortality. I feel like I earned the right to at least be a little selfish. I... I don't know. I, I just don't get wait, that right Wait, wait, what else. did you say about house arrest? Playing my friends at Mount High Point, but my mom found us, and now she puts me under house arrest. Oh. I thought I was going to say his mom got under house arrest. <laughs> um, I feel like there's a lot of... Anyhow, that's fine. Oh, uh, I, so, I was going to... I, I was I the alternate situation I was thinking of was uh you can have either a immortality buddy uh-huh or you can have you can choose to have an immortality rival oh shit that's that's so <laughs> tempting I'm still choosing the buddy but always, that's that's so you they, Derek, they will our always, rival in this game they, is Rodney I don't want a Rodney whatever hey you're, hey so jump like, nut you got some nice skin, I, Jeff Nut. I really like your so skin, Jeff Nut. You're the villain. You, you, basically, like, I'd be the you, villain. Are you fucking kidding me? Going to be a villain, or you're I'm gonna going be to be Dr. Doofenshmirtz. I am to, going to take over the tri-state like, area. Just that. Like, I'm gonna hold off the entire tri-state area from the entirety of the U.S. militia. Basically, whatever you're you're going to you want to do with your life, they're going to attempt to stop you. Okay. Uh, similarly, you have the option to attempt to stop them from whatever they're doing. What if what they're they, doing is trying to stop me? Then I could just not do anything, and I've won. <laughs> some singer, there will always be something where you have a reason to either to. Be, be, basically, like if if you don't, it, like let's say you want to be a hero, they'll be the villain. Okay. If you want to be a villain, you'll be a hero. Okay. If you want to just do nothing and just mundane things for the rest of your life, they'll come in and, like, let's say you you, you just want to play some golf, they're going to come in and fucking kick your golf ball. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Anyhow, this is kind That's of similar to, I don't remember what episode I asked this in, but as you mm. may, I feel like it was a Kirby Air Ride thing, but there was a, 
there was a movie I saw a while ago that I really enjoyed called Passengers. That's about a guy who uh, takes a cruise to a new planet uh, where he goes into whatever, hyper sleep or whatever, you know, like the, I can't remember what it's called yeah, exactly. Cryo. Yeah, cryo. Uh, cryo sleep. Uh, but he, his specific unit malfunctions and literally everyone, including the crew, um, are asleep. And he can't even get into the crew's chambers. Um, and the, the cruise is so full of its own ass, it's like, uh, it's impossible for someone to wake up early, even though he did. Um, and he, he decided, he, he fell in love with someone that was also sleeping. Um, and he decided, uh, to wake her up. And doom her to the same thing. He, he's basically alone on this cruise, because everyone else is sleeping. Um. But then he wakes up this other person to be with him because he wants company. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Hello? Yeah. Well, like, I mean, in this situation, you're, you, you have a... He's a... Oh, I should I know. Like this... It's going to take, like, 200 years for the crews to reach... Uh... No, like, 500 years for the crews to reach the new planet or something. You know, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, he, he he's going to die in that ship alone. Yeah. I think he's reasonable. He chose, so, it sounds like there were three, there's basically three options. Uh, a good, a neutral, and a bad. The good option is to wake no one up and die alone and sad. Mm -hmm. Uh the neutral option is to wake one person up to have a buddy. Um, uh -huh. The bad option is to wake everybody up. How is that the bad option? Throw the, and, what? How is that the bad option? <gasps> Ooh, I didn't realize that I could get this person yet. I guess I'll... I'd say it's a bad option because you're, for one thing, you're completely ruining the whole pur purpose okay. of the, the thing. What? Uh, no. Oh. By waking everybody up, because no one's gonna get there alive unless. Well, unless, no, because like, you'd wake up the crew who could probably get everyone back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Which, which begs the question: Why is the crew's room locked down to the point where no one yeah, can get it in? It sounds like there were not a lot of smart people working on this project. <laughs> They didn't prepare for this. Like, there we are. But like, oh, I don't want. I would say nine. it's a bad option to wake everybody up if your intention is just like, well, if I can't get there, no one can. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a bad option. I feel like it. I, I guess there's more more options than just those three. But anyways, um. Yeah. He actually basically woke someone up to be his girlfriend. Alright, Derek. So, here, here's the deal, right? Yeah. You get woken up. Get woken up by a girl. You, you went on this voyage, right? The space voyage. Mm -hmm. Um. And it's just you two. You, this random mm -hmm. girl. And just you. And that's it. It's just you two. Uh, and she decided to wake you up so she could have someone to love. I feel so sorry for her. I'm a really bad conversationalist, especially with strangers. <laughs> <laughs> she chose poorly. <laughs> she doesn't think that. She's completely enamored with you. Uh, I should well, know I would, in this yeah, movie. I would say so. She chose me uh, uh, over the rest of the crew. Yeah. Uh, in the movie, uh, he could he read her entire file about what she was about and fell in love with her from that. Some would say it's That's romantic. Yeah, it Others sense. would say they're creepy. They're both right. Technically, literally everything anyone does yeah. is both romantic and creepy at the same time. It just depends on who's looking at it. Remember, the difference between a creepy letter and a romantic letter is the font. I guess. No, because you can have... Well, a... think of it like this. If I send you... Uh, 
let me think. I, I remember seeing a really good example of this. Of like a good text for this. Um, okay. Cool, Blitzy. He's, he's joining the team, by the way. Blitzy the Firework Pokemon. Blitzy Sparkle in the Night Sky, oftenly being mistaken for stars. People sometimes have them create light shows for celebrations. Uh, I should note, this is the after High Point Gym uh, Pokemon. I just catching him early, because why would I not? Um, now, what the hell do I name him? What's a good firework name? No, never mind. I already know what to name him. Bada boom. Bada sure. bing, bada boom. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. Alright, I need that firework. You just gotta ignite the light and something else. Just on the night. Like the fourth of the line. It's very firework. Come on, show him why. Oh, he has levitate. That's good. Uh -huh. That's a good ability for an electric fire type. It's a very good ability. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, there hasn't been electric fire types, right? Okay. Sorry, Glowbox. It's your time. No. We all have our time and place, um, and this is yours, sadly. So, if you were to say, like, uh, I've adored you from afar, uh, or something like that. If you write it in nice, like, cursive, like, fancy letters, put, like, some cute hearts on, uh, that, that could be romantic. Be, no, that could be creepy, too. If you put, if you, if the text that you put is in letters that you cut out from, mag, from, like, a, like uh, various magazines or newspapers and paste it onto a card, that, that's when it looks a little creepy. I disagree. People could get the first one and feel fucking creeped out. Likewise, people yes, could actually get true. the second one, and that could just be just the thing to tickle their fu their uh, boner bone. It's it, it's really like it varies from person to person. That's the one thing I've always found weird. Is I honestly don't know how to. I don't know how to. Like. If I, I don't know how people fuck. can flirt without, just... <laughs> sounding, without being creepy. Because, like, I think at any point, if you're ever going to attempt to flirt, mm -hmm. there's just, there's always some percent chance that you're just going to come off as creepy. Yeah. And this is why and I that, don't flirt like, with anyone. To, that's, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. This is why like, I never flirt with anyone. Like, almost actually. I, I also, but, like, I also, have, this, the problem I also have is that with with like friends and whatnot even with like friends and whatnot like, um i don't know how to compliment people without sounding like 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 it or without it coming off too creepy or too like uh or so, like sounding wrong one of my biggest one of my just like biggest like almost irrational fears i would say is mm -hmm. i have this uh fear of being misinterpreted right um on a higher level, I have a fear of being misinterpreted to, to, uh, on like, uh, um, on like levels of like, uh, you know, like me just simply talking to someone and then take, or like me, or like me maybe like giving like a compliment and then someone taking it as like something like way more like, I was, what am I trying to think? I, I haven't, bad sexual things okay I, what you were saying a bunch of words and you just said bad sexual things and you expect me to understand what that what context I'm supposed to <laughs> Derek what I the fuck gonna, I always have a fear of, I have a fear of being okay so I guess like a good thing it would be um, or like a good example would be like on the way to class um there's like a day there's like a daycare thing on the college campus uh -huh. and when i would walk past whenever i'd walk past there i always made a point of looking away from it okay whenever i could 
because I didn't want there to be misinterpretation if if at any point someone saw me gl just simply glancing over or something. I didn't want anyone to ever have the misinterpretation that I am there watching children as I walk by for some weird purpose. Okay. Uh, I just fucking murder them in the back of a white van. That convinces people very well. Hmm? <laughs> I said I just murdered the children in the back of a white van. That convinces people that I have no no interest in children I'm whatsoever. Very, uh, upfront on my hatred of children. Me too. Uh, children are awful. Very outspoken about it. That being said, I always get concerned that like uh, somehow someone is going to have this misinterpretation. And somehow, their misinterpretation is going to get way further than it ever should. Uh, I guess that makes like, sense. It's... What is uh, this? Caburn? Q-burn. It's a Q-bone, but it's Q-burn. <laughs> I was gonna say, it looks like a Q-bone that, get, that was like burnt. That had, it's like a burn. It's though. burnt. He's covered in his mother's ashes instead of his mother's skull. They cremated the mom. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> did, did any of us call dibs on Team Solar Grunt? Because if not, dibs. I. We might have. She cute. I think I got Lunar Grunt, so. Okay, well, that works out then. I guess so. Um, but, well, you know what, Derek? What's that? I have dibs on the leader, well, Derek. I what I was okay. That could really come to bite you in the butt. Uh, I don't know, but the episode's basically over, so like, and I want to go yeah, to bed. I, was, I figured, but I was gonna say I don't remember what why I started saying it. I have a fear of being misinterpreted. Oh, yeah, complimenting friends. Yeah, uh, I was worried that they'll misinterpret it as like meaning more than it does. I just love my friends. See, th this is actually like, this, this is actually the benefit for me of uh, liking brown girls. I, uh, I can like platonically compliment friends, and like there's zero problems because I'll be like, yeah, you're not really my type. I think most people that I know are pretty that know that like know me well enough. I think I'm very unintimid. I think I'm like so unintimidating to the point where like, or like so like. Uh, people, I give off the aura of like, Derek does of uh, I give off the either, uh, either look gay or uh, <laughs> like, am very like non-threatening. I think I get, I think I give people those vibes. It makes sense. So I, think I believe most it. Most of the time, people, yeah, uh, because I've had numerous people tell me like, oh, like I. Like, I assumed you were gay or something, uh, which I can see. Right. Uh, so but, can they. Um, did you just use Bulldoze on that Blitzy? Yeah, it didn't have, it levitate. Didn't have Levitate. It had Cloud9. They either have Cloud9 oh, okay. and Levitate, so you know which ones you can use Earthquake on. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's true. Um, I'm glad I didn't choose the Cloud9 ability on Blitzy. I got the way better one. The one that yeah, doesn't definitely. suck actual ass. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I think most people, uh, whenever if I like most like female friends I have, whenever I, I give them compliments, I think they. What about usually... the guy friends, Derek? They can misinterpret it too. Hmm? The guy yeah. friends can misinterpret you too. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. Uh, most I I try to make it clear that I'm straight. Uh, as soon there's as no can. hope. <laughs> it's just there's too much to undo. But like, yeah. I mean, I certainly don't help my case ever. No. But, it's okay. Um, it's okay to like dick, Derek. I I really don't. I hate dick so much. I hate my own too. Me too. Gets in the way. Me too. It's just too damn massive. Oh. 
All right, next time it's Pelicans. Bye-bye. <laughs>